Right, so 2021. So it's probably time for an update on Power Loop. So it's 2021 and um, I thought it's about time we did a bit of an update on what's happening with the Power Loop project. Now, if you remember and you've been subscribed for a little while, uh, early in 2020, I got a Nissan Leaf as part of a trial with Octopus Energy that they're running in the sort of eastern region of the UK called Power Loop. And this is a vehicle to grid trial whereby the car can give energy to the grid um, at sort of peak times or where the house is drawing a significant load. Um, it will take it from the car rather than uh, take it from the grid, which should help to smooth out um, peaks in demand and therefore, uh, you know, pass on those benefits to, to the consumers that have those cars. Now, it's fair to say 2020 hasn't gone as most people had expected and power loop has obviously suffered along with the rest and i've been in fairly regular contact with uh, octopus energy on this to see what's going on and although we've had the leaf for a while now i haven't had the wall box or any of the other equipment associated with the power loop trial installed now the main reason for this is that the trial has been more of a of an end-to-end -end trial. This isn't a trial about how me as a consumer will get on with this technology. This is about how the energy network will get on with this. And from what I can see in the communications that I've been having here, um, they've found out a few things along the way, which has you know thrown a few spanners in the works and delayed some things. Now, Clearly the pandemic has delayed things as well, but some of these things would have taken a while to sort out anyway. Um, and that's also put the brakes on some of the stuff. I was hoping that during the uh, brief period between lockdowns that we might get all of the equipment installed, but sadly that hasn't been the case. So what's been going on then? Well, it turns out the house that we live in and the area that we live in is of great interest to all of the parties that are um, taking part uh, on this trial. So, you know, that's UK Power Networks, that's Octopus Energy, and I'm sure there's more besides. And one of the things that it comes out in, in our area quite a lot is that there's already quite a large degree of solar installations uh, in the road. If I look around at the roofs in our local area, um, you know, probably one in four houses have um, solar panels already installed, which means there's a good quantity of um, uh, exported electricity. I'm included in that, of course. I've got a four kilowatt system uh, on this house. Now, one of the things that um, Octopus communicated to me um, back in the summer was that because of this and also because of and for some reason the proximity of of my uh, sort of local transformer um, which is literally about 250 yards away uh, from my house uh, means that they are going to need to install an additional device alongside the wall box unit which is just a sort of charger with a ccs plug to, to do the vehicle to grid stuff um, they're going to need to in install an additional device which limits the amount of uh, export that um, the system uh, can uh, deliver back onto the grid. So what they seem to be saying by this is that they envisage a scenario whereby there could actually be too much energy flowing back onto the grid from this, this local area in which I live and that might put at risk I guess, some of that equipment uh, on, on the grid and they don't want that to happen. Now I think the thing is that they're probably overthinking this a little bit and the chances of that actually happening are low. However, they have to you know, take those things into account and they're obviously being super careful about it. Now, the reason that that's a bit of a drawback and um, has slowed things up a bit is that 
that device doesn't yet exist and therefore they've had to actually commission and create uh, this device and uh, talking again to Octopus they're pretty close now and I received an email uh, just earlier um, uh, this uh, this week which said that the application for iOS and Android for the Powerloop trial will be uh, delivered later on in January 2021 so we are getting close now to seeing some movement on the trial now my only slight reservation about all of this is, of course is that I'm now not sure how much trial I'm actually going to uh, take part in I only signed up for a two-year lease on the Nissan Leaf and we're already well near as damn it a year in uh, to that to that lease already and it hasn't really been much of a year for obvious reasons in terms of driving but um, I don't think the car itself is a car that I'd want to keep um, it's not something that uh, excites me very much as a driving experience and there's all sorts of other reasons I'll go into in other videos about why that car is probably not going to be a car that I want to keep for, for, for very much longer. And of course the other sort of sad situation is that right now in terms of vehicle to grid, the Nissan Leaf and I think a Mitsubishi uh, are the only cars that can currently support the current standards of vehicle to grid, which means that unless you have a Nissan Leaf, you can't really take advantage of it, which is a real shame. And CCS standards need to really come up with the goods on that one because I think the vehicle to grid idea is is a fantastic idea and I think that a lot of people will get a great amount of benefit from it if uh, this is a success. So I'm really hoping that the CCS standards start to catch up and um, you know it's not just the CHAdeMO charging standard that supports vehicle to grid in the future because that is the current state of affairs. And I know that that is changing but it, it, it can't change soon enough in, in, in my opinion. So. That's where we are with the vehicle to grid situation. There's nothing uh, exciting really happened just yet. And a lot of that's got to do with 2020. But like I say, a lot of it also has to do with the fact that this is a trial and it's not just a trial about you know me and my home. It's about the entire energy network and they've uncovered things along the way, which means that it's, you know, it, it's done exactly what a, a trial uh, should do teased out all of those interesting facts that they need to address before they go to uh, a fully adopted uh, solution that they can sell to anyone. So there we are. Um, I hope that was useful. I hope to come back very soon now this year with um, some more updates on the vehicle to grid trial and you know hopefully we'll see it get installed and you know we'll start to use it. Really really excited about that still. I remain very excited about it. Um, in fact, the Nissan Leaf is, is, is almost better as a power wall than a car in a lot of ways. Um, so, you know, I, I think it's a really, uh, it, you know, it, it could change my opinion uh, of, of that car uh, as, part of, as part of our kind of household. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all that jazz or not if you don't want to, don't care. Um, uh, but we will continue and we'll see you in the next one.